So today I'm on my own. <laughs> Suzanne's gone with her friend to play some bingo and win us our fortune. Which she's never done before, but you never know, there's always a first time. So I'm on my way to Castle Ashby, a lovely little village in our beautiful county of Northamptonshire. And it's Northamptonshire Day. So I'm gonna have a little wander around, see if there's anything interesting to film. And, um, uh, well, obviously you'll know <laughs> whether there is or not, because, uh, you know, it'll be part of this film. So, let's go and see what it's all about. this must have been a helicopter marshal or something like that hello, hello. Did, you? did you think I was a helicopter well you landed fine so, I was, <laughs> thanks so you much. should be a pilot really yeah <laughs> like I said, that's, five, five pound. that's fantastic that's right. okay thanks very much Bye. Bye. oh it's a little bit muddy oh, every time I clean the car more people in fluorescent jackets I know, it's raining again. Blimey. You're not gonna go wrong in here, are you? Thank you. I'll stick it on the end and hopefully it is the end. Although we were in York once and I put my car at the end in a car park and somebody came round the front of it and caught the front end. Your cars aren't safe anywhere these days. I mean, in a place like this, why wouldn't you leave lots of room? Car park looks pretty full. Well, the toilets are all brand new and very clean. People took part in this experiment in 2017. So I've got a couple of um, poems that I wrote that I think demonstrate um, what it what it's like to write and, and get your healing. Right, I'm going to find myself a can of coke. There should be one here somewhere. And yes, it is very nerve-wracking doing this. But uh, hey ho. <laughs> well, there's probably not as many people here as they hoped there would be. But what I'm going to do now is go through into the gardens. Yes, it is raining. Again. Yes, it is a shame, but it's a bit of a stormy day. Soldiers 
choose to fight each other. Well, you wouldn't believe it, the sun has come out. meant to happen throughout your life and if you make the right choices you go with it but you've got to listen all the time but the thing is if how many people here have had things happen and you think oh that was lucky I've moved on to the next thing or I've moved on to the next thing well unfortunately I wasn't able to meet any of the presenters from Radio Northampton but uh, never mind <laughs> So how does this work? How does this work? Uh, this is uh, beeswax food wraps, okay. or reusable food wraps. Um, it's organic cotton, we insist on organic so there's no pesticides involved at all. Uh, and then it's coated in beeswax and organic overall, so it's antibacterial and antimicrobial. It keeps your food lasting longer, so as well as reducing plastic, you're also reducing food waste. Uh, and then the final ingredient is a little bit of pine resin, which is actually what gives it the cling. So it behaves a little bit like cling film does. Um, can I feel it? Of course you can. Uh, completely reusable, nice and easy to keep clean. You just wipe it down with a cold damp cloth. If it really needs it, a little bit of mild washing up liquid. Uh, the important bit is not hot water because of the beeswax. So you can't use them on raw meat or fish. Uh, you use them every day, they'll last for about a year. Uh, at the end of which, uh, because there's no pesticides, they can go on your compost heap or in your curbside recycling. Um, or you can cut them into strips and uh, roll them up and use them as fireliters. And does it start as paper? Uh, cotton. Oh, it's cotton? It's organic cotton. Right, okay. Fantastic, thanks for that. You're welcome. So, um, so the, the role then of, uh, for a vet has changed over, over the years and of course uh, with the common climates that we're in. Yeah, absolutely. So it's changed from being, you know, vets I think originally hundreds of years ago were farriers. You know, there were farriers and then they started treating cows and then sort of went into small animals, you know, certainly I remember reading in All Creatures Great and Small, small animals like, was like the sideline, that like, oh yes, I'm going to treat your dog, whereas now that it's so separate. So our practice is a mixed practice and we have a completely separate small animal department, a farm animal department and a horse department. We and can never get it done, so I just want to be So I'm trying to find my car. <laughs> I thought it was down here somewhere. Oh, here we are, right on the end. So there you go, and just as I thought, it's very nerve-wracking vlogging on your own. Um, much as I expected, it was a last-minute thing just to come over here and get some footage, at least something to put up for a vlog for this week. Um, didn't really get to see uh, uh, any of the uh, Radio Northampton presenters as I'd hoped to. Uh, the one I really wanted to see wasn't even here, and I had thought from the stuff that was on the radio during the week that he was going to be here. For anybody that knows Radio Northampton, that's Bernie Keith. Um, but anyway, yeah, it was an enjoyable little walk around, but uh, it rained about six different times, so I was in the marquees just to keep dry. I had my hand on the umbrella in the car to take it with me, and I didn't. So my home fault. I just come to the conclusion that whenever I get the vlogging camera out, no matter where we are, in good old England um, or, or Britain, um, same as in Wales the other week. Wherever we are, um, it's gonna rain, so we just have to get used to it. Anyway, yes, so um, hope you enjoyed the film and uh, don't forget to subscribe, press the little subscribe button and then when you've done that, uh, the little bell icon, then you'll be uh, reminded when there's any new episodes or, or any new vlogs coming out. Uh, it'd be nice if you liked it as well, all helps the channel grow, and um, leave a comment, that'd be lovely. So, uh, like I said, 
hope you at least enjoyed some of it. Thank you.